I think it's cool. We're right in front of the store, so I should not say it really overtly. Oh my god, I really don't like it. It's so like granola. Mm. Mm -hmm. The behind the scenes of YouTube. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe I can just grab it then. Oh my god, I can't grab it. It's too tight. Ah, it's a sacrifice we make just for the taste. <laughs> Good morning, sunshines my little peanut butter cups. Today, we're gonna have a good old day in London. Actually, we're gonna have a big old day in London. We're going to like Central, then East London, and then to maybe end up in Greenwich. Depends on my social battery and how quickly I die down, because I might crash. And what I mean by that, I mean a sugar crash, because today is gonna be a good old London foodie day, which I have been really looking forward to because there's a lot of food I wanna try. As you guys know, London is like, the food options are just insane here. My little Carter brain just can't wrap my head around it, so I'm just gonna go crazy. I'm a very all or nothing person, so, I don't know how to stop myself. I see all these options and I go a bit crazy and I'm probably gonna have a massive sugar crush, crush today. But, um, you know, I'll document it for your viewing pleasure. We love that. Come with me to London City. Did that rhyme? Probably not. Let's go. I was trying to find a rhyme, didn't work. Goodbye. And we have made it to London City. I wonder if you can hear me because I can't hear myself right now. Ow. <laughs> wow, that is... Look like a wet mop. And there's so many people this way and they can just go this way. The first place we're coming to is Exla, which I can't believe they called a name. I can't believe they called a place that. But anyway, um, I haven't had breakfast today because I was saving it for this and I'm hoping it's good. But I don't know if it's good or not. I was really hyped up for it, but people said it's not worth it. Basically like a breakfast sandwich. So let's go get myself an Exla. <laughs> Never thought those words would come out of my mouth. But now they're gonna go in my mouth. <laughs> Guys, we got the goods. We got the goods. What is the green stuff? Seasoning? Really? I thought it was like avocado. Okay, the... I really hope this is good because it was £9.50. <laughs> Whoa, that's a really good picture. I got the sausage, egg okay. and cheese. The behind the scenes of what you don't see. I'm wearing um, like this kind of dungaree oh, situation really and my mic has gone all the way down to the trousers and I don't know how to lift it all the way back up. How do I actually get all the way up? It's all one contraption, so how do I get the behind the scenes of YouTube? Wait, wait, wait. Maybe I can just grab it then. Oh my god, I can't grab it, it's too tight. Okay, maybe on the side here, no one can see it. <sighs> okay, I'm ready to eat now. Okay, great. Oh, also, I didn't realize this whole time. Should we zoom in on it? But it's a Saturday. Okay, maybe we should just go. <laughs> okay, is this good? The lighting's probably really bad. Lighting's better here? No. This side? <laughs> okay. Whoa! Maybe I'm just really hungry, but that's really good. Mm. I really like it. Hey, people said it's not worth it, but I really like it. You know what the difference is? People say things like, oh, I can make it myself, but I can't. <laughs> I think if you're a good cook, yeah, you could probably make it yourself. But I don't think I can make something like this. You know, I'd give it a nine out of 10. If someone made me this for breakfast, I'd be ecstatic. I'd be sick afterwards, but I'd be ecstatic. Green sausage. I had green sausage. And it's actually quite fun. I like the packaging a lot. It's cute. I give this an 8 out of 10. This has been a good start today. I'm happy. Or maybe I'm just hungry. Who knows? Yay! I like it! So this is the reality of it. This is the egg slut in action. <laughs> Thank you, Karma, for sponsoring this video. Karma is an all-in-one shopping assistant that automatically helps you shop smarter, save time and money. For example, I've been trying to build my summer wardrobe since the sun has surprisingly made an appearance in the UK. And I had my eye on this skirt and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna save this item on Karma and wait till it goes on sale. And lo and behold, I got a notification and I saved myself five quid. And we love that. Honestly, it's like a no brainer. You can download the Chrome extension on your computer through the Google Chrome store like so. And visit any of your favorite stores. So I've been shopping a lot on Mango lately and Karma's great. There's a button at the top and there's also a slider too, making it really easy to save your item. And once you save your item, you get notifications via email or mobile push, letting you know when the item is back in stock 
on sale or has a relevant coupon. As I've been doing a lot of online shopping at the moment, whether that's building some wardrobe or buying home decor, it's been really helpful to organize my items into separate wish lists so I can shop more mindfully. Karma also has a special feature where it will scan the web for coupons and applies them at the checkout automatically. This is only available on your computer, so the Chrome extension is a must. You can also earn cash via PayPal when you shop from select retail partners. You can get Karma's free Chrome extension through my link in the description box. Download Karma and start saving money. We love that. I love how you got a random HSBC amongst all of this. Reporting live from Chinatown. It's really crazy busy so we're not going to be here for too long. We're going to go to Cha Time which is a drink because we really need a drink right now. It's so busy. I feel like I'm actually fun. And then we're going to get Ube. Ube? Cha Time. Ignore everything I just said, it's the wrong place. Bye. <laughs> and the sun has come out. Oh, we're gonna go to Machi Machi. I still don't know what panna cotta is, so I just wanna do it because I've never tried it. So I got the milk tea with panna cotta. I have no idea what panna cotta is, so we're about to find out. But I like the bottle, I wanna keep the bottle. Oh, it's like tea, cold tea. Oh, I like it, I do like it. <coughs> okay, so we're gonna try the panna cotta with, the with this, this thing. Ooh, now it's got all jelly bits in it. Okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. So I'm quite new to this whole boba bubble tea thing. And apparently last time I did wrong because you meant to stir it before you drink it and I didn't realize you had to do that. So now we're doing that, but it's called jelly bits in it. Can you see it? And I don't like looking at it. I think it makes it so much better. I had a big one there. Yeah, it's really good. We need to mix this so it's yeah. all in. Taste-wise, really good. Texture-wise, I'm so not about the texture. You can't feel it. You don't want to feel it. Yeah. Oh, the sacrifice we make just for the taste. <laughs> um, taste-wise, I'd give it a 9 out of 10. 10 out of 10. It's just the texture. Honestly, I wish we could get rid of the texture. Okay, I'll wait till it melts. Does it melt? It doesn't melt, does it? This is how I wish I posed for my Insta pics. That's what everyone's crazy about. This is Bube Bilog, which is this ice cream in this... Oh. Are you Taz? Hi, yes. You? Hi, it's oh, nice to meet I've you. I've your videos. Reporting live. By the way, we're not actually meant to be sitting on this table. I'm just doing you know, a lot of things. Just not not, you're not allowed to sit anywhere. You can't sit well, the on the steps. You can't sit. There's no seats. I know. Just my new favourite thing. Oh, it's really good. It's really good. It's not my new favourite thing. Really cold. I feel really cold. Wow, there's a lot of coconut. It's a, what do you call it? Um, I forgot. I forgot. It's a root vegetable, Ube. Yes, yeah, a sweet potato. It's a, it's a sweet potato. Yam. It's a yam. A sweet potato. For someone who's not a sweet tooth, I probably wouldn't get it again, but that's not because I don't like it. It's just... Well, maybe it's something you might crave really random. I like the colour of it. Oh, the colour doesn't really show up as bright as it is in real life. Pixel. Take it with the pixel. All right. Do you need to put it in the sun? <laughs> just put the Ube to the sun like Simba. Oh. I'm glad we sat here. We're not allowed to sit on these seats, but actually, it doesn't say that you can't see anymore. But it's a seven out of ten. Well, hey. As you. Well, we have found it. Yes, Imperial China. Ooh, look at this. I think it's him. This is my favorite part of Chinatown. Look how nice and aesthetic. How cute. Well, we finally found it after long last. We've come to Imperial China. Oh. Look how cool this place is. Look at that inside. I know. It's like a nice little haven inside. Wow, can we sit here? Oh my gosh, look at this. Holy smokes, there's a real fish. I found all the fishies. Whoa, there's loads of them. They've all come out. Wow, look at them out. That's me and my big lips. We've come to this place called Imperial China and so far I'm already, whoa. Okay, this looks really cool. All right, we're gonna go in now. Okay, bye. This looks so cool. It looks like, was this is wasabi and prawn. This is the one I really want to try. This is rice roll. This looks really good. This is a dim sum vegetable platter. Everything. I'm a little steam bun. I'm not as civilized, so I'm going to use a fork. It's too hot, isn't it? Do you like it? Can I try a bit of it? I like the texture. Mmm, wow. Well, that's different. You don't like it? Or you don't know yet? I don't know yet. I'm gonna have the rice roll thing, which is the main thing I came with. And this one has a sauce. Ooh, I'm nervous about this one. This one's good. Mmm. This one's really good. Mm. 
Right. Dim sum is a strange one. I've never had any dim sum before. It's so slippery in your mouth. Like, so slippery. I feel like I'm going to choke. <laughs> but it's good. And we have come to Old Spitalfields Market, which is basically all of this. We found the one we want, which is Humble Cromwell. This is huge on TikTok. So let's try it. We got ourselves the humble crumble, which is like, this is like frozen custard. And do you see all the crumble? And it's so hot today. And then we got rose petals on top, which is so cute. I got it all over me and now I'm all sticky. Because this is like granola. I was like, we could hear it. Oh, that is not good. I think full crumble tastes bad. We're right in front of the store, so I should not say it really overtly. Oh my god, I really don't like it. It's so like granola. <laughs> you know when you try to make your facial expression look like you really love something, but you're actually not saying it. Oh my god, I really don't like it. It's actually really bad. <laughs> Do I come across like a psycho, maybe? It's like shortbread, granola, and that's like the milk. It's like cereal. It's a humbling experience. <laughs> I'm going to try the custard ice cream. It's not bad. I'll just great. have that part. I thought it was going to be like apple crumble, yeah. which to be fair, it's way too hot to be having apple crumble today, but it's not like that. Right, wouldn't you I kind of want to try Caribbean food. Too. I've been wanting to have Caribbean food for Oh, the Hi! Oh, I've been spotted. Hello! Literally. Hi! So I wonder what gave it away. This is our last one, and we're going to get curry mutton. It looks really good. Hiya. I'm hoping that we save the best to last. I've been wanting to try Caribbean food for a while. I don't know how authentic this is. It's in Spitalfield Market, and but I, hopefully it's okay. I just met the girl that you saw called Catalina and her little sister Sophia, who is the cutest thinking thing ever. She was just really, really cute. And if you see this, I wanted to say hi. It was really nice to meet you and you guys were really sweet and you made my day, so thank you. Okay, now let's try this, whoa. Ooh. I'm really good. Oh, it's really salty. There's a lot of salt in there and there's a lot of flavors. You know what, I think, this is so typical. I think this is my favorite thing I've had all day, which is, I guess it makes sense because I like rice and curry, but this is really good. I don't know if this is that different from Indian food, but I'd eat then I probably would think that was Indian food. I'd give that a 10 out of 10. Very flavorful, very, I don't know what, how to describe it, but it's really good. But the thing is, I don't know anything about Caribbean food, so I don't know if this is like a great example of it, but if it is, then I really like it. I'd recommend it. I'd actually recommend this place. Yeah, I'd recommend 10 out of 10. We ended up on a 10 out of 10. We love that. And you said you were full and you're eating it. That's how you know. Lighting the deal. Final place we're gonna go to is a place called Genty London. Cause we're gonna get a drink. I've only had it once, but it is my favorite drink ever. And which is quite sad because it's on the other side of London and I can, it's very rare for me to have it. So I'm really gonna enjoy it. And look how cool this alley is. Whoa, look at that lighting. This is a really cool, um, whoa, this is a really cool alleyway. And now we've come to Genty. The one that I want to get today is, where is it? Oh no, I can't see it. Oh no, winter melon dew. We want to get the winter melon dew. Hi guys, welcome to, well, the end of the video nearly, but okay, so I had this once when I was with my friend George and it's called, oh, see, did you call, it's called winter melon tea or winter dew melon, either one. And it was one of the best drinks I've ever had. I don't even care. You know what, before moving to London, I never really cared for drinks. I was like, I, I just drink water, I don't really care. Boba, bubble means nothing to me. But then I had, oh, oh yeah. So people told me off, because last time, apparently with these drinks, you gotta shake it, but I don't think you have to shake this one. <laughs> it's okay, but it's <laughs> Anyway, but basically it was really good and I very quickly named it my the best drink ever I've ever had. So let's hope it lives up to that. Mm. Oh, it's good. Oh, it is good. It's not a fruit drink. I don't know what this flavor is, but it's so good. I mean, I do know what it is. Winter dew melon, but it's so good. Okay, this is my, okay, guys. Oh, I, if you don't like it, then you know, whatever. But like, honestly, guys, you should try it. It's called Winter Melon Tea from Gen Tea London. You should check it out. You know what, they're really nice in there. Yeah, I want to give them as much promo as possible. Go there, check them out. They're super friendly. It's all really good. It's my number one place I recommend in London. I didn't even see this on TikTok, but it should be on TikTok because it's really good. Usually I get very overwhelmed with central London, but today's been a really good day. Been great food, great weather, great company. Yeah. My bank's crying, but we're having a great time. <laughs> That has been this video. Thank you for coming along with me in London. 
it's been a really, really good day. I've had a great day. I don't know, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you try this out. Oh, I'm not also conscious that some of you guys might not like it. But let me know if you try it out. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. I love you lots, and I shall see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.